Hey everyone, welcome. Let's take one last look at WeVideo for some fun things we can do to make our videos more interesting. And that would occur here under Extras and Backgrounds. So uh, I've preset some items here in this video. I have uh, some text floating here, it looks like, but actually these are some extras. So if you watch right now, what you'll see is that this video looks like it's got an old timey kind of TV or film effect running. And these would be the boxes right there. So I came into extras and I chose an overlay. That would be this one right here. It's a five second overlay. We'll bring that down and drop it. It can be in any track on top of a video track. So remember that these are uh, stacked in the timeline here so that things at the top are on top of things below them. And we'll take a look at that again in a minute. So what we've done here by dragging that overlay down is that we've given this uh, old picture of Abe Lincoln and sort of that old film effect. It's really easy to do. Just drag them in, drop them. Uh, you'll see what we're talking about right here with this one. If I do this line effect when we play now, it's kind of got a Venetian blind look to it. So those are kind of some fun things you can add under extras. Those are called overlays. Another thing we have going for us would be these callouts. Callouts are kind of fun too. Uh, they also can sit on top, but we need to add another channel for this one. So let's toss one in and we'll keep that sitting up here and we can just drag that call out down and set it on top of this. So now it won't have the Venetian blind effect, but the picture will. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to drag this over here and we'll do a little play. You'll see the text box is sitting on top of the Venetian blind effect. And if we want the Venetian blind effect to happen on top, we can move this one down. And now you'll see that the text box also has that sort of stripey effect to it. <clears throat> Callouts are fun, though. They give us some interesting things we can do. Like here, we can have Abraham Lincoln say what I'm sure he must have said when he was alive. And then we need to do some adjusting to get it to fit the screen a little bit better. It's kind of big right now, so we can pull that over and resize it so it fits the screen. And then we can have this coming out of Abe's mouth if we move things over just a little bit. Pull that down so it's closer to his mouth like this. And now we have that great out of context quote. So that's an interesting way to add those. We'll just save that change. Now right now, each of these images has sort of a black box around it, which doesn't seem to look that great. So let's take a look at our backgrounds. And all we need to do here is to put them on a video channel behind the video channel with the images. So again, we'll click the plus sign. We'll add a video channel three. We'll add the track. Again, it shows up at the top as usual. And we'll just move it down until video three is below video one. That way it will be a background and the background image won't be sitting on top of our pictures. So we can choose anything. There's a whole group of them under this section. Kind of interesting to look at. Why don't we just drag this one down. We'll drop it in video three's timeline. Pull it across and see what we've created. Now you can see we have the sort of old film effect on top. We have our transition coming up here. Here's this old time film effect running. Here's our image. There's our background. It'll start black and then we'll do that sort of in and out warp speed motion. And so as we play along, here comes our mosaic transition. Again, in and out on the warp speed with the old grain film effect. And as we come to our last one, we'll have the call out with um, the thought bubble and this time with the Venetian blind effect on top of warp speed. So just some last kind of fun things to add different features to your videos when you want to add visual interest. Meanwhile, thanks for joining and meanwhile, have a great day.